Hey, what's going on, everyone? Back today with another uh, music review here. Uh, not really an album review, but more so of a, an artist review and sort of a MySpace, uh, look into MySpace kind of thing. Um, today I'm talking about Digidaeus, another up-and-coming uh, artist from the UK. And he plays music in a style that maybe isn't something I typically review, but uh, it's a style that definitely does interest me. <clears throat> so right now Digidaeus has three tracks available. And the link's down in the description box if you want to see uh, his stuff on MySpace. Um, his music really falls within the sort of dark ambient category, in my opinion. But there's definite, uh, definitely electronic vibes and metal and sort of old-school hard rock influences going in there, too. So not a not an artist to be you know, categorized easily, but um, really what's common and what's uh, the driving force here is the atmosphere that that music brings. It appears that Digidaeus is really a one-man kind of band project thing. Uh, I really like I like those projects sometimes because it allows the artist to really express their ideas with any, without any conflicts really happening. Um, so it's kind of interesting. <clears throat> so what I got from the first track here, which is called um, The Eternal Lament, it's a really felt kind of an old-school, like, dark ambient, atmospheric kind of feel to it. Uh, almost like it's a very epic thing happening or a very, you know, big moment, something really coming together. Um, soaring synth melodies over top of a nice bassy tone. Uh, got that good rhythm going in there. And although the guitars, you know, you can ha you can hear guitars here and there, it's really the synth that drives on this particular song. Um, it really feels like you're doing battle with evil. Something big, something epic is happening. And I really liked about that about it, this particular uh, song. <clears throat> it's sort of polished, but at the same time, like the the dark, grungy bass underneath the music sort of balances it in that regard. So that's one of the things I really liked about this track, and it's sort of about this uh, this artist's music in general, is that you could feel the really, like, the floaty atmospheric stuff going on, but at the same time, you got that dark, thick, grungy, kind of dirgy, like, underlying tone. So I really like that. <clears throat> the second track currently available is called Untitled Demo. And for me, this is sort of like a throwback to, like, the late 80s, early 90s kind of, like, thrash metal, like, the, the grungy stuff. Like, it really has that old-school rock kind of vibe going in there. And this is, you know, the track where you can hear the most metal influence happening. Um, although this song is probably my least favorite of the three currently available, uh, I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> it. It really has a, you know, more guitar-influenced uh, vibe going on. And once again, no vocals, as you'll hear throughout these three tracks. There's no vocal work whatsoever. It's just a guy doing his, you know, atmospheric... Uh, musical thing, and it's really well done. All in all, though, it is my least favorite of the three tracks, because it just doesn't have as much atmosphere, I found, as the first and last song that are currently available. <clears throat> but really, when I listen to the song, I'm thinking of, you know, like, two guys in a fight, you know, something very energetic happening, uh, something grungy and energetic. And that's sort of the, the emotion and the, um, the feeling I get from listening to this song. And, and like I mentioned earlier, you know, like, these songs do impart an idea onto the listener, and they do, like, impart emotion and sort of a giant feeling. You know, the last the last track was sort of like, you know, Battle with Dracula or, you know, Fighting the Dark, the dark Forces of Evil. And this song was really that rough-and-tumble energetic vibe. <clears throat> the last track available here is uh, called Darkness Complex. Um, it's more of an industrial experimental track, and I, I really did enjoy this one as well. Um... You get that spacey kind of like electronic vibe going on here. This is probably the most electronic out of the, the tracks. Um, <clears throat> but on top of that, you get that sort of mid-90s kind of uh, dark ambient tone with the leading synth melody again. This almost brings me back to listening to like uh, mid-90s Burzum kind of thing, like uh, Hibis, Lyset, Taras. Like those very like blatantly atmospheric and ambient tracks. And you know that leading synth melody there is what really drives the song. <clears throat> But like I mentioned, it has that, you know, outer space futuristic feel to it, too. So it's sort of like a nice mashup of different ideas and concepts. Uh, and that's one of the things I liked about th this music that's available from Digidaeus. It's sort of that mashup of different ideas. I like to mention that all three of these songs here, like, sound distinct and different from one another. But, you know, all of them have that similar kind of idea of using atmosphere as the main, the main focus of music. You know, no vocals. Uh, not too many, you know, fancy flourishes or anything like that. Uh, so if you're into, like, dark ambient stuff, just very uh, smooth and uh, interesting atmospheric music, um, this is definitely for you. Uh, if you're looking for more of a, uh, a hard rock kind of thing, you know, like, 
modern metal or want a lot of vocal work, you know, this probably isn't going to do it for you, but um, really this is dark ambient music. What, what you listen to this for is the atmosphere and is that dark tone, you know, despite the soaring melodies. It's sort of that balance that makes this um, this artist's work very interesting. So all in all, I'd like to say that, you know, Digideus, up-and-coming uh, artist from the UK, one I'd recommend to anybody who likes dark music, uh, melodic stuff, or, you know, like early uh, melodic black metal or dark ambient songs. Definitely for you. Check it out, Digitatus. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one. Bye.